Well, this little video is going to be my top 20 countries that I've visited. Um, I have visited about 27 countries out of the 195 that they are currently listed. And I'm um, just going to start with my trip in 2017 to Africa, <clears throat> to the, the Jewel of Africa and uh, visited Kampala. Um, flew in at Entebbe Airport and, uh, you know, got to visit, visit towards the south where the equator is and saw, as you've seen in one of my videos, uh, the water going, um, I think it's anti-clockwise or clock, sorry, clockwise in the north and anti-clockwise in the, in the south, you know, over the equator. So, observed that experiment, I believe is, we're definitely on a spherical earth. Um, I believe there's some great warriors in Uganda. Um, it's a very war-torn country. A lot of witchcraft, a lot of child sacrifice going on. Um, you know, it would be a wonderful country if there wasn't for all the witchcraft. <clears throat> and obviously, the the Muslims are really attacking things to the north, and Sudan's been broken up because the Muslims are really doing a lot of things. But. Uh, Mostly for the reason of um, the people. Um, I put Uganda at uh, number 20. Number 19, we have to come to Europe. And uh, I've got Belgium listed as my number 19 country. I really did enjoy um, visiting some of the uh, towns and cities. If I remember, I visited Ostend. You can see me preaching there. Um, some very nice um, towns and cities there, quite high English speaking uh, content in Brussels. Um, spent a lot of time in Antwerp where, you know, I did a deliverance prayer for a, a lady who was experiencing uh, a lot of demonic oppression um, for her family. You know, she was born again. So there's quite a lot of good things about uh, Belgium, not least of all, one of my favourite beers are from there, uh, Whole Garden. And you can get non-alcoholic whole garden as well, which really tastes great. It's one of my favourite drinks. <clears throat> so some of the reasons that um, Belgium got in my top 20. Number 18, I've got Holland. I've got the Netherlands, where I've never really spent as much time in Amsterdam um, as I wanted. I spent most of my time in Harlem when I was making the videos and you know, last year, while Tommy Robinson was in jail, and then I went into Amsterdam to preach. Um, I did want to meet more people there. Um, I spent a lot of time in Rotterdam, and uh, did some evangelism there. Met one or two really great friends. I believe uh, lifelong friends, uh, Christianity-wise. Um, and it's funny, and you know, in Glasgow that there's a hotel. There's in Glasgow and there's one in Rotterdam, and uh, it's really nice. Quite quite enjoyed uh, Holland. Probably the best, uh, even though I don't eat fast food. It's probably got the best McDonald's food in Holland that I've that I've been to in the world. And some of the most unusual McDonald's. I think I visited one. Um, where was it again? It's towards the south. If I uh, can. Yeah, Bergen Upsum has got one of the most unusual McDonald's you've ever visited. I spent about an hour trying to find it, you know, it's so unusual. Um, if you're ever there, go and visit McDonald's. Now, my next best country I visited was, uh, well, the Lord did speak to me to go and visit uh, Hungary. So, and I did travel through quite a few countries to get there, but stayed in Budapest <coughs> for, for quite a while. Um, you know, drove through a couple of times Hungary. Um, I believe that it's got what one of Europe's um, biggest revivals, proper born again Christian revivals in Budapest, and uh, it's exciting to meet some believers from America there and preach with them a little bit. And uh, yeah, um, even though I didn't make as many friends, I did get sick there in Budapest. 
Um, I did make some friends, but not as many Christian friends as I thought, uh, you know, potentially you, you could make when there's a sort of a type of revival going on. Uh, made videos about that and the Faith Church, which is in District X. You know, a lot of these... Um, <clears throat> A lot of these um, European cities are almost like moon bases, you know, <laughs> District 1, District 2 and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, very hot, I remember. And it's got the biggest synagogue in Europe as well, as you can see there, just near to the city centre. So very impressive city, very interesting city to visit. My next on the list I've got, number 16, I've got Wales. And Wales is... Uh, Got one of the biggest Christian revivals, certainly in the United Kingdom, happening at the moment. Um, there's a man called, uh, I, I think is, uh, I can't pronounce his first name because he's Welsh, his second name's Holland. But he goes around Wales in a tent meeting preaching the gospel. Even though I haven't really been to that many parts of Wales, I, I visited Newport a little bit and um, sort of this general area, just over the, the border from uh, Bristol. But I believe it is a beautiful country and um, quite mysterious and a lot of history about it. Um, Shrewsbury's just on the border. Um, I believe that's in England, Shrewsbury, isn't it? Um, also visited there. But uh, yeah, I believe that Wales has um, got one of the greatest revivals of Christianity at the moment and uh, it's definitely a lovely place to visit. Next I've got on my list is where I'm staying just now, Romania. And I do like the the diversity of culture. You know, I stayed a little bit just at um, the New Year at Galati. But it's pronounced just Galat, you don't pronounce the I. And, uh, you know, you can see that at the turn of the year. Big, biggest fireworks display I've ever witnessed, incredible. And um, Bucharest is definitely almost like a moon base. Um, you know, if you go around some of the universities and places, it's their District 1, District 2. But um, to the north is an orphanage that I've uh, been part of for a little while. And I don't know if we'll be able to visit there, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I've got Romania there in my top 15. And uh, next I've got on my list is Spain. I think some of the most friendly people in the world are from Spain. Um, I've not visited really the mainland of Spain yet, but I've, you know, visited uh, the sort of holiday resorts and destinations. You know, I've been to Tenerife, been to I Ibiza, which is, uh, oh, it's over there somewhere, isn't it? Not exactly sure, it's somewhere around there. But don't know if I'll ever get there this year, who knows, I might do, but... Uh, I, th I think the Spanish are, are very friendly. A lot of them are English-speaking, and I do particularly like the Spanish music, you know, the flamenco music and all that. I, I really do appreciate um, Spanish um, sort of classical guitar music. I'm quite a big fan of it. Number 13. Yes, I have visited the Americas in 13. I've got Canada. Um, back a while ago, visited... Some friends over in uh, Prince Prince Edward Island. There we go. So uh, even though it's quite a rough place, I would say, and the fact that <clears throat> during the winter time it can feel like minus fifty, but I know that America has has been getting that type of weather that Canada's been used to, you know, almost every year. You know, when I visited it, I think it was just about ninety nine two thousand, and it's a really really cold winter, but. I know that the United States have been going through a real, really cold winter. So, uh, yeah, that's what it's like in Canada all the time. It's one of the reasons why it's, it's not in my top ten, because uh, it's just too cold for me. Um, number 12, I got Slovenia. The, this, this country could be higher up my list because I really enjoyed it. Um, Slovenia, just there in between... Uh, Italy and um, Hungary and Croatia and Austria. Um, the best ice cream I've ever tasted in Maribor when I did the preaching at the Rangers game uh, this year in, when they were in Europe. 
and I visited Selja, very interesting place, but I feel there's, there's a lot more places in Slovenia I could have visited and could be far higher up my list. Maybe if I, maybe if I ever go back there, I'll get to appreciate more of the, uh, the things there. Number 11, this is maybe a surprise for some, the poorest state and country in Europe, where I spent um, half the winter in Chisinau, and um, just purely because of the people, that the people are among the most interesting people that I've ever, I've ever encountered in, in the world, and the Moldovans, I just feel as if uh, they have some history of fighting off the Romans, you know, Romania didn't have such a successful history in doing that, but Moldova, yes, um, and I believe that in the mountains right there, there are bears and wolves, and um, they produce some of the finest wine in Europe, um, and, you know, they, what to really say, even though I lost my dog there in Chisinau, you can see the roads are extremely, extremely crazy busy. Like, one of the first double roundabouts I ever encountered in my life was in this small city. It's, it's no bigger than really my home city, Glasgow, you know. It's only about home of about three quarters of a million people, but got loads of double roundabouts and, uh, yeah. But um, it's outside my top ten just because it's, you know, if you're rating the country, it's, it's, it's not that great. But as I said, the people really make... Um, you know, when when you visit a place and they're some of the finest people I've ever met. Now going into my top ten, we go back to Africa. And uh, this general general area here has got a high Christian volume, but I did visit Addis Abbey I did get to meet one of the oldest people I've ever met there in the Italian sector, where, where the shops are. And um, I think he was about 110, 115 years old, and he walked up and down every day for his, his dinner. I remember my Uncle Jim used to do that. He lived, he was about 90-odd years old. He went down to the local uh, cafe for his, his lunch almost every day. And uh, it's a very diverse, interesting place. A um, lot, of, lot of beautiful Christian there, people there, and... Um, very, very interesting music culture. That's that's really, besides the scenery, you know, it's six, seven thousand feet up from sea level. The scenery is incredible when you go into the mountains and things, but just purely for the fact about the music, to me, is, 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 is extremely um, in-depth and has a sort of a spirit of its own. And did uh, visit... This this town, Dradawa, Dyrdawa, um, which is sort of up in the mountains, and have some nice memories there. And I know that uh, Machine Gun Preacher is actually building an orphanage out there. And it is a beautiful country. Um, you know, there was famines there back in the 80s. A lot of us that were brought up in the 80s remember Ethiopia because of the famines. But really... It's one of the biggest populations in, in Africa. Um, it's about over 200 million people that stay in Ethiopia. Next I've got is south of Ireland. I did visit the north, which is very beautiful. But for me, you know, um, even though I had nice memories, I um, don't really know anyone there anymore. So but I do know some people in Dublin. And I did spend a lot of time in and around Dublin. Um, when I went to the <coughs> the kickstart, um, Torben Sinegas kickstart, met a lot of beautiful Christians, very nice Christians, um, good testimony. And I think it's a beautiful place, and it's, it's nice people as well. So it's in my top ten. They're at number nine. Next one I got is uh, Ukraine. Um, not just for the fact there's no chemtrails in, in the land, I know, it's, I know it's hard to believe, but some of the beverages and some of the snacks and food there, I, I found really, really nice. And 
I got to see quite a bit of it, you know, driving around. And, yeah, I just feel as if, yeah, I would like to go back there and visit there at some point. Um, I actually met a man from Ravine the other, the other week who's a Messianic believer, goes to a Messianic um, place, and I think, as far as I understand, one of the biggest Messianic uh, so-called synagogues in certainly Eastern Europe is in Kiev. So I really enjoyed it, but when that winter started kicking in, I had to really come south. It was just so cold. Next I got on my list is Germany. Um, I visited mostly West Germany, so I don't know, maybe I'll get to visit East Germany um, this year. One of my favourite places was Nuremberg. Um, one of my least favourite places is Frankfurt. <laughs> But uh, there you go. Um, Germany is a very, very dif different from city to city. It's a very, very diverse country. It's more diverse than, than you look at it on a map. But it, it, it's, it's really different. Each city has its own character, its own um, blessings and uh, hang-ups or whatever. But uh, also visited Munich. Yeah, it's an interesting place. So... Germany is there for the scenery and, yes, for some of the Christians I met there. Um, very interesting, very nice people. Next country I got is France. I mean, Paris is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Um, most amazing cities in the world. But what what a coastline. And it just seems to be a very well-run country, even though... Um, you know, there's a high Muslim population, even though there's there's always been um, sort of infighting and, you know, all the uh, renaissance and all the wars that have gone on in France among the French people. You know, they have, they have quite a fiery temperament. Uh, they're, they're quite known for that. But France is an uh, extremely interesting country to visit and stay in. And it's fairly cheap as well. Is, is, is inexpensive in, in a lot of places to stay in. Um, next place, we'll go back to Africa. Now, Ghana is a place that I did mission work in. And even though, you know, if you're rating the country, it's only maybe a five, it's only maybe the same as a, a sort of a um, Belgian or Holland or Hungary or whatever, um, it's the people that make a country. And uh, I have a lot of friends, a lot of Christian friends that I've done mission work with, even that I've met in the UK, and they're, they're still serving the Lord there. So I think the one, one of the biggest revivals um, in the Christian world is, is in West Africa, you know, Nigeria, this, this general location. But, um, yeah, Ghana is, is in my top five because, well... I have family there, you know. So next on my list is the USA. I've visited North Carolina. And I've visited Newark, just the airport. I didn't go to New York. But, um... Yeah, where's North Carolina? There's North Carolina. So I visited Fateville. I, visit, I stayed here for a little while. Um, not quite a few people in Charlotte, they used to at least know them, but, uh, so I haven't really seen much of the States, you know, when I was in Ghana at the university, um, a lot of people from Sacramento, and I have family that stay in Sacramento, but, uh, they, they were at the university there when we were st I was studying Hebrew and studying languages, so, um, yeah, obviously because, why is it in my top Five because you yeah, have some friends in America and you know it's just a it's just an interesting place like musically religiously and you know the scenery is is pretty damn decent as well so that's why it's there next on my list even higher than America take you to a, a little place I went to that for some strange reason you know, I, I drove through it a couple of times. But I did try to stay in Bratislava. You know, when I came out of uh, visiting Austria, I mean, Austria is a beautiful country, but the people, well, no. I had to leave because the people are weird, you know. 
satanic. But when I came over the border here, you know, you got, you got all this UFO art everywhere in Bratislava, and apparently this is where all the, the UFO experiments were started, you know, pre-World War II, you know, um, in the Thule Society, even before that, you know, it was sort of Polish and Slovakian and Czech, Czech Republic, it's another place, this this used to be the old Czechoslovakia, so now you got the Czech Republic here, and Slovakia, but this general land here, they did an awful lot of experiments about the anti-gravity craft, and the Nazis continued these experiments into the Second World War, um, but I, I just found it a very interesting place, I found some of the beverages there, um, really nice, don't ask me why, I mean if a country produces nice drinks, I, I just seem to, <laughs> I seem to like it a lot more. But the scenery, the general feel good factor of the of the country, I believe, is very very good, and and it's fairly cheap to, to to stay in as well. So it's in my top three countries that I've ever visited. I I don't know why it is. It's mostly a Catholic country, but I just like it. I can't really explain. Um, in my top two. Um. We have to go to the Middle East, and yeah, when I visited Israel in 2016, just for the fact that um, of all the history, the biblical history and uh, everything else that's uh, that's in Israel is, is is just incredible. So I spent a, a few weeks in Israel. Um, I I just find it an amazing place, really. I believe it's the place that Yeshua will, will come back to and uh, take the saints to eventually when he sets up the new Jerusalem and uh, we just await on that time. But I just think that, you know, Israel's been obviously long fought over by many different empires. The Muslims at the moment are the last empire hanging on to power, but then we get the, the Antichrist one forming in, in the last days. Um, and one rabbi said that the, the Messiah would be um, in Israel and known in Israel before the next election so let's uh, keep our eyes on the price but the number one country I visited and uh, only visited it once for a few months but well there's only one the Oz isn't there <laughs> there's only one Oz mate you know there's, there's, there's quite a few Aussies that um, I know even when uh, Tommy Robinson was in jail they were, they were encouraging him and Aussies have encouraged me as well in my ministry um, and contacted me and I wish I could have gotten out there um, there's, there's one girl in particular that contacted me about three years ago from, I think she was from Melbourne I, I, I would have I loved to go out and visit some, some people that I knew out there but I have family basically around the Blue Mountains and some in Sydney and I visited here and uh, it's, it's really an amazing country it's really an amazing amazing uh, country so just for a whole host of reasons mostly because of the people um, Scottish um, Aussie connection so uh, some countries that I've visited and not mentioned I have mentioned Northern Ireland, obviously my, my, own, my own country, Scotland, England. I just feel as if the government has completely spoiled our, our nations. That's why it's not made the top 20. Austria, because of the, obviously the people. Poland, just didn't quite make it for me. Croatia, didn't really have anything that special um, for me that I could mention. And also India. And there. Uh, just didn't make it in at my top 20, sadly. Hope you've enjoyed the video. God bless you.